Tonight, we are talking cryptocurrency. Yes. He's excited. I am. A couple of you just went, oh, really? Cryptocurrency? What? We're gonna we're gonna make this fun for you. Yes. Jeff said it before the show. We're gonna we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. We're gonna make it easy for you. Yes. So we're yeah. just gonna get right into cryptocurrency. Okay. Now, out the gate, I need to mention we're not giving financial advice tonight. This is just Correct. our own opinions and everything that we're learning to do. I'm looking forward to doing some crypto mining for free. And hey, we'll see. Why not? We'll see what happens with that. But no financial advice here tonight it's just strictly uh that's not my forte Mm -hmm. and to be honest with you i'm new to crypto you're new to crypto yes sasha how much crypto is in your portfolio uh zero all right so we're all pretty much crypto noobs yes and so what we're doing here tonight is not the de facto here's how you do cryptocurrency no it's nothing like that it is however uh what we've learned so far and we want to share that information with you and share that knowledge with you so that you can get excited about what we're excited about as well now hold on before you get into it though i'm sure there are some people who have heard all about cryptocurrency Mm -hmm. but they don't know what it is so really quickly what is cryptocurrency basically to to really dumb it down it's yep. a, a digital currency so m- monetary value to this digital coin or digital um they're called hashes so it's it's just digital digital strings that are stored uh, on a on a, a network of computers Right. So it's not stored in any one place like your bank. Right. It's stored on thousands of, potentially thousands and thousands of computers. It's called a blockchain. Mm-hmm. And that blockchain contains information about the currency that exists, whether it be Bitcoin or Monero or Ethereum or whatever that might be. This digital data is stored within the blockchain. And that's shared between all these computers so that, hey, if one of them disappears the blockchain still exists and you don't lose your currency. Right. And right. the more people that are using it, mining it, whatever the catchphrase is, mm. the more it grows. Oh, yeah. And the harder it gets to mine. Yes. You think about... And, and we're going to get in... Let, let's talk a little bit about... Because I don't... I, there are some questions that viewers may bring up that mm-hmm. would drive us to these very conversations. Yes. And, and I think in particular, you know, what is stopping me from getting into cryptocurrency? What is stopping me from um, not investing, but having a a cryptocurrency portfolio? Can you think of any examples? Well, I mean, uh, the first one, and this would be what stopped me, was that it's complicated. I I mean, when when I first started hearing about, you know, this, you know, exponential rise in value for Bitcoin, I'm like, okay, what's cryptocurrency? So I'm looking into it and trying to research it, and I'm going, how in the world do I make this happen? Because I'm hearing about uh, software that's being, you know, back end loaded onto computers to mm-hmm. mine so that, you know, they can... And you hear about these crazy rigs and stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I'm so like, this is ridiculous. So it, it was super, super complicated. Mm-hmm. I tried to do some research myself and it, my, my initial assessment of it was, this is gobbledygook. I have no clue what I'm doing. You got to so be a hacker I, to I do it. I walked away. Yeah. All I right. really did. I, I mean, I was envious, but I walked away because it was so complicated. All right. So tonight we're going to learn uh, with a piece of software how to start mining, and it will take about five minutes to set up on a Linux machine. Super easy. Yeah. So really, really easy to get started. Uh, we're going to learn all about that in a couple of moments. Anything right. else uh, between the two of you that you can think of that might keep you from mining what? cryptocurrency? Or becoming involved in cryptocurrency? Everything. I would, I would, feel, <laughs> I would feel like everything. 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 Like, everything. I would, like, as far as, like, I would picture to mine cryptocurrency, I would need this big, huge, expensive, crazy rig that's running all the time and... You know, that, right. you know, that sort of thing. you got to own your own server farm. Yeah. yeah. You see these guys that have, um, like, GPUs just lined up yes, in these jobs. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh. So, but I mean, one of the things I mentioned at the beginning is you hear about people installing it maliciously in the back end of people's computers, and I think mm-hmm. illegal usage. Like that well, we'll, get, be- we'll get to that, but let's touch on Sasha's comment first. Right, okay. So illegal usage is a, a completely unrelated, but definitely yes. a, good, a, good, uh, a good comment as well. Yeah. Um, when it comes to the rig, Sasha, yes. here's the thing. So we mentioned that it gets harder and harder to mine as the cryptocurrency gains popularity. Mm-hmm. So 
Bitcoin, if you were around when Bitcoin first started up, people were mining it and getting Bitcoin and building their Bitcoin portfolio. And it wasn't worth a lot. So right. then when Bitcoin took off, now, you know, being worth $10,000 today and, you know, $16,000 yesterday and, and fluctuating, uh, you know, between, I've seen it, usually we're falling between eight thousand nine thousand to twelve thousand dollars as of late per bitcoin so if you mined in the early days and you happen to have a portfolio or a wallet of bitcoin then it's worth a lot of money Mm -hmm. even if bitcoin falls seven percent or whatever right Uh, it's still worth a lot more than you put into it which was mining Um, so what has happened is now that bitcoin has gained popularity and it's susceptible to uh, machines that are built specifically for mining cryptocurrency specifically for mining bitcoin at that Uh, so there are hardware devices that cost thousands of dollars that are working on bitcoin and mining cryptocurrency and so for the little guys like you and me who have just a basic computer we try to mine bitcoin and we don't get any Right. Because our systems are not as powerful as the next guys, and the next guys getting all of the cryptocurrency, basically, to, to really okay. make it simple, right? So, for me, I, remember we built that, that computer for Dave. Yes. Is that big enough and powerful enough to mine cryptocurrency? Bitcoin, like, no. 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 Bitcoin, okay. no. Because okay. Bitcoin is now at the point where only those machines that are... In, like I'm not talking about really great gaming rigs. I'm talking these are specific machines that are built for mining cryptocurrency. They cannot do anything else. Their chips are built specifically to figure out the hashes of Bitcoin. Yep. So because those exist and because those have taken over that network now, there is and because the mining basically the coins have become more rare because so many of them have been mined already and there's a finite number of them available. So just like mining, if, if there's a limited supply, the value goes up. Right. So also the difficulty to find it goes up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Bitcoin is very, very hard to mine now because it's rarer because Mm -hmm. it's already been mined and it takes a lot more hardware power in order to decrypt, uh, to find the hashes. So, the key thing is, is to find, and, and there are what's called altcoins, which are alternate coins to Bitcoin. So mm-hmm. anything that is not Bitcoin but is cryptocurrency is called an altcoin. So that is Monero, Ethereum, Litecoin, Turtle now, uh, and, and hundreds of others. Yes. So-, so it's just finding the legitimate ones that are low in value right now because they are so plentiful in supply because they're so plentiful in supply they're worth nothing or next to nothing but as but they're easy to mine yes so now sasha your gaming computer can mine something like monero okay Okay? so you can be mining monero which is only worth like three hundred dollars per coin and you can be gaining Monero in your portfolio, and it is on its way up. And again, not giving investment advice or anything, but we're talking about just using your existing computer hardware. So then, if there's all these altcoins available, are you really just taking an educated guess at which ones are going to grow, or is it just that they're all going to grow? No, uh, some of them are fake. Some of them are going to crash right down to zero because they, you know, they, they, people do invest, people do, rather than mining maybe they don't want to mine and they just want to buy coin so they'll buy coin hoping that that's the one and then that one crashes they've lost all their money in that investment so yes. then somebody gains from that um so yeah it is a bit of a russian roulette because there are so many out there mm-hmm. and some will crash and some will burn and some will fail so that's where okay monero seems really trustworthy and like it's going on the up and up mm-hmm. but there's this new one called turtle coin that yes. is also now it's worth nothing next to nothing uh one satoshi today which is the very very smallest decimal point of a bitcoin that's what a single turtle is worth oh, okay can but, can we just name them like shells or something can one turtle yeah. coin be a shell sure <laughs> absolutely so how many shells can we get <laughs> So, uh, and we're going to get a little bit into turtle coin tonight because um, that's the first one that we're going to start mining with because right. it's in such plentiful supply right now. Whether it will fail and be worth nothing or whether it will go up in value, it, it doesn't really matter to us because um, it is 
basically we were able to mine it. And it's yes. really, really easy to mine right now because it is in plentiful supply. There are a couple of other things about their network that is unique. Like it, uh, they generate coins every, ha uh, every half a minute. Oh, okay. Uh, there hmm. are like blocks come out every half a minute. Um, so there's always a flow of, of coin going through the network. And because it is in such a massive supply, it is easy to mine. Okay. Being easy to mine also with turtle coin, there's only two decimal places to the coin, just like okay. our dollar versus Bitcoin, which has several decimal places. So yes. in order to get one Bitcoin, you actually have to get thousands and thousands of individual little pieces. Yes. Now with turtle coin, there's, once you have a hundred of these individual pieces, it is one turtle coin. Right. So there are some advantages there. Now you asked about legality. Yes. Yeah. And so, I mean, there's this perception that because of the, you know, we're hearing about these malicious ways that people are hacking into systems to have miners going yes. on in the background. Installing it in viruses. Yes. And, so people assume, mm -hmm. ooh, cryptocurrency, it's it's illegal. It's not, sure. you know, but that's not necessarily the case. I mean, in some countries, yeah. it is. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so you've got uh, uh, Algeria, Bolivia, Ecuador, Kyrgyzstan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Cambodia, um, those it's been deemed illegal. So if you are tr trading cryptocurrency in those yes. countries, it's yes. illegal. But everywhere else at present, it is legal to trade. And some countries, it's not legal to buy with cryptocurrency, but trading is legal mm -hmm. uh, or mining is also legal. Um, so w where the misconception comes from, as you mentioned, it's illicitly installed mining software. Right. So if I install a program on my computer, we've heard about um, JavaScript on websites. So I yes. go to a website and all of a sudden my computer is mining cryptocurrency. Now, the newspaper's website that I'm visiting, who can no longer sell subscriptions to the newspaper, has to find a way to make money. Mm -hmm. They can't put ads on their website anymore to generate revenue because people are using ad blockers. So now they have to find a new way to generate revenue. So what do they do? They get a hold of this JavaScript that runs in the background on your computer while you are on their website. And it's generating crypto coin for them. It's going into their wallet. Now, hmm. what's shady about that is, and what makes that illegal practice, is that they are doing that without your authorization. Right. Okay. So the practice itself, the capability of mining crypto coin, trading crypto coin, that is not the illegal practice. The illegal practice is doing it on someone else's hardware, utilizing their resources without their express consent. Right. In our case, we want to mine cryptocurrency ourselves. Yes. Whether we donate that cryptocurrency to someone like Category 5 TV or whether we collect that cryptocurrency for ourselves, it's up to us. We have decided and we have authorized ourselves to use our computer hardware to do it. Right. So it's perfectly legal unless you're in one of those countries where it's been deemed illegal. Makes sense. But the practice itself is legal. Right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we've looked at a couple of reasons why, uh, but I think right now we should take a quick break because I want to get to showing people how to install a miner. Oh, yes. So when we come back, I mentioned about being able to support Category 5 TV through crypto mining. Yes. I'm going to show you a piece of software that you can install uh, that I've put together that just makes setting up your crypto mining I've been using it for a couple so days. So easy. Easy. I'm going to show you all about that. Don't worry. We're going to show you how to mine for yourself as well. That's all coming up right after this.